Hello, Kules, and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with Memphis Depay. It has been reported that Juventus will present their final offer to Memphis today. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, it has been reported that Barcelona are ready to reduce the asking price for the Premier League linked attacker. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into it, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please make sure to watch it right up to the very end. Awesome. In what could be termed as the final roll of the dice, Juventus are expected to approach Memphis Depay with a definitive offer anytime today, claims a report from Spanish publication Sport. The aforementioned outlet says that the members of the sports management of the Italian team, including sport director Federico Ciaroberni, Vice President Pavel Nedved, General Director Maurizio Arrivabene, and the manager Massimiliano Allegri, had a meeting yesterday. The agenda was to narrow down a name between Memphis and a certain Arkaduzic Milik. Sport understands Allegri is in favor of the Dutchman Memphis as he believes their current forward Dusan Vlahovic needs someone with more mobility. This is exactly what Vice President Pavel Nedved had said in an interview with DAZN. He said, yes, Memphis Depay is one of the players we have on our list. It is normal to have many options. The former midfielder was quoted by saying, according to journalist Fabrizio Romano, the pie could play as a centre forward or even a winger for sure, he added. So the only issue for Juventus to carry out this operation in the Dutchman's economic is the economic demands of Memphis Depay. As reported before, the pie looked set to join Juventus a couple of days back, but the forward took a step back and went on to increase his demand from 5 million to 7 million euros, which forced Juventus to bring Milik into the fray in the first place. At the moment, there are discrepancies within the Juventus board regarding the Pais acquisition, but Allegri has asked the club to put in more financial effort in order to get things done, and the team from Turin will now present their final offer to the Pais lawyers today and will hope to get a green light to avoid any last minute hiccups. As far as Barcelona are concerned, they remain clear about their intention what, that despite Obama Young's hypothetical departure to Chelsea, the Pais must, must leave the team too. This is mostly because these two exits will, only, will not only help them register Jules Koundé, but will also allow them to sign new fullbacks. After it was reported yesterday that Juventus want to move on from Memphis and they are looking at other alternatives like Milik from Marseille, you know, it looked as though Barcelona have received a very huge blow because they we were all expecting Juve to make that move for Memphis any day from now. But the fact that Memphis had to increase his wage demands had to make Juventus not happy about that and, and they wanted to move on. But it seems as though they have not completely changed their mind as Juventus are still considering Memphis Depay as their top priority. So it has been reported that Juve want to present their final offer for Memphis today. That means before today ends, we must have heard reports of a new offer made for Memphis. You know, I don't think that offer will be up to what the Depay is expecting because 7 million euros is what Juventus don't want to pay. So a lot of things will happen before the end of this day. And let's see what happens when it comes to their pursuit for Memphis Depay. Barcelona are really expecting this move to happen because they know it could somehow help them. You know, when it comes to balancing the, the wage books, registering Jules Kunde and possibly registering their two fullbacks, left back and right back. Um, when you look at the fact that all those things need to take place within a space of just seven days, it's really, really incredible. It's like, I don't know, it's, it's surprising, right? But all is possible, right? With Laporta and Alemani in charge, Everything is possible. We've seen that in the past, last month, especially where the transfers came with much surprise to many Barca fans. So let's just keep our fingers crossed and see how things look like. Because at the, as it stands right now, um, new fullbacks are also a top priority for Xavi. Getting a new left back and also getting a new right back is of utmost priority because 
we really need those positions right because we want to get into this our new season with you know with full strength having every good player in each position will make sense because right now Barca can't really boast of having a very good um, right back right we can't really boast of having a reliable left back but we just need to strengthen those two areas and then at least i think you know we can say we are expecting something better this season so let's see what Barca decides if Memphis Depay and Obama Young's depa um, departure goes on successfully. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, Pierre Marie Obama Young has made peace with the possibility the possibility that he will end up at Stamford Bridge before the end of the transfer window. All this is because Barcelona and Chelsea are said to be close to reaching an agreement for the former Arsenal forward, as reported by Spanish publication Mundo Deportivo. Barcelona are ready to reduce the asking price to 15 million fixed for the striker who only arrived in January on a free transfer. Why this represents a shrewd piece of business, there has been no direct contact between the two teams, with the player's representative acting as intermediaries at the moment. For now, they are trying to find a perfect solution that could benefit everyone involved. Hence, it is expected that an agreement could be reached soon. Mostly because Barcelona are desperately trying to do everything in their power to register Jules Koundé. On top of that, Obama Young say will also give Barca a bit of free hand to explore the remaining days of the transfer market to get in worthy full bags. In that regard, Barcelona are said to be scouting several defenders. This includes a certain Gavi Galan and Celta Vigo uh, and Marcos Alonso. You know, as reported before, Galan has a release clause of 18 million euros. But Barcelona expect the deal, you know, could go down for to a mere nine million euros. What puts him ahead of Alonso on Barcelona's wish list is his willingness to accept a lower salary of around two million euro per year, and this is exactly why any potential deal for Alonso is stalled at the moment. You know, the right hand side, meanwhile, is still unresolved as there are no concrete options in the market. It is if the situation persists. Sejno Des might as well continue to be Barca until the next transfer in the right. For any move to take place though, Obama Young's departure will be so crucial and in order to make that happen, Barcelona are willing to you know, settle for a fee of around 15 million euro in fixed payments. Look at what this pair can cost. Barca now want to lower the price for Obama Young because they know that time is running out and Chelsea might even change their mind and at the end of the day they will not be able to register Jules Koundé. How on earth do we even get here in the first place that to register a new player, you first of all, you must depend on one player sale, first of all. Like, I don't understand what is happening to my beloved club sometimes, right? We all got a lot of economic levers activated, but still, Barca just thought it was all about buying and buying and buying and buying new players. Forgetting that when you buy players, arrange the budget to register them. You know how La Liga is strict with your financial fair play. How on earth will Kunde not be registered up to now? And I think the player has every right to be pissed off. Yesterday we talked about reports saying that Kunde is not happy at all. Javi knows he's not happy with the way things are. I've never seen this. It's an embarrassment from a big club of our statue. Barca is not any kind of club to... If it's a small club, people can understand. But come on, this is Barcelona. Since when did we see when a player will be signed more than one month ago and can't be registered? Come on. I think Barca should do things because against Real Valladolid on Sunday, if this guy can't play, then it will be a disgrace. Let's hope that they can do that. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.